If I was in the market for a Class A gas motorhome in the year 2024, it wouldn't matter if I was a couple of people or a whole family, there is one motorhome that I would buy and it kills everything in its competition. This is a 2024 Coachman Encore, the model 375RB, which is my personal favorite Class A gas motorhome for the year 2024. We're going to be taking a look at all the features. I'm going to tell you why you should buy it. And we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited today to be showing you my opinion of the best motorhome for the year 2024. I would like to tell everybody, they saw the specs, they saw bunk beds, and a lot of people freak out. These are not bunk beds. This is the bunk bed office wardrobe combo wait until you see the inside before i begin gotta say hi to andrea hey andrea hey everybody thank goodness we're not in the market for a motorhome are we oh my gosh this one is so beautiful i'm telling you if we were if we were it would be this one it's the perfect combination of quality and price the perfect features let's begin model is encore 375 or b the actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 38 feet, two inches. It has a 5,000 pound hitch, and we have 70 gallons of fresh water, 90 gallons of gray water, 90 gallons of black water. Andrea, this is an incredible looking motorhome. Look at the front grill. Look at the Encore etched in. Look at the headlight design. This is such a beautiful, great motorhome. I do want everybody to know this is not a top of the line tier four motorhome, but it's not even close to an entry level motorhome. It's that tier three, you're getting good quality, but also good value at the same time. I love that. When you take a look down, Andre, you're seeing the full body paint option on this motorhome standards partial body paint. It does sit on the F53 chassis, which means it has 7.4 liter, whoa, 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. Chrome mirrors on both sides. Cameras integrated to the side of the motorhome right here. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Michelins. 235-80R, 22.5s with the shiny alcohol rims. So it's going to drive fantastic. Coming on down, you're seeing a huge power awning with LED lights. And look at the new squared off Lippert windows. I love them. That they added for the year 2024. Beautiful, fantastic. Love the look of this paint job. And look at this. We got a TV on the outside. Nice insignia TV. They added a new sticker, which is the Asdell Assurance Shield of Approval. Exterior and interior behind the fiberglass sits Asdell. Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. Right here, we got fantastic storage. Pass through storage. There's Fiber your inverter. Fiberglass but slam latch doors. Love that. Love all the amounts of storage in here. Okay. Love this. Electrical outlet right there. Yes, ma'am. Dometic all water heater right there. Propane quick connect if you want to have a grill for the outside. And here, bing, is all the specs of this motorhome. Because you got your propane tank right there. Very, very nice. Over here, we have more storage. I mean, almost every compartment Passer. door, almost every compartment door on this side is the storage. Fantastic. Coming around the back, Andre, we have a nice fiberglass rear cap. It actually molds over, so it's less likely to leak right over there. Again, a 5,000 pound hitch. Look at the rear design. I love the two tone colors of those three bars right there and the inline of the lights. You do have a backup camera there. Fuel fill up in the rear and a ladder to get up on a one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, it's my favorite motorhome. So of course <laughs> I'm gonna climb up on there and show you what we got. Let's All go, right. take a look. Matt, hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I do love that. Solar panel already on the roof. Wine guard digital antenna up there. A Dometic fan right here. And look at this awesome skylight. Wait till you see that from the inside. Slowly. Okay. Two steps. 
great. And if you haven't already, make sure everyone smashes that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on a motorhome to show you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Andrea. Here's where you dump one of your tanks, black tank flush, very nice and clean. Over here is where you have your auto transfer switch and a 50 amp power cord, okay? Right over here is gonna be your generator. It is the NPS 5500 Yamaha. Is it Yamaha? It's Yamaha. Yamaha. Coming on down, we got even more wet bay right here. It's not my favorite wet bay, but it's not my least favorite. It's very clean, black tank flush. Outdoor shower, place for you to dump your tanks, water filtration system with a light on the inside, very nice. And again, let's take another look at these squared off windows. Andrea, throughout this motorhome, I'm going to need you to try to find dislikes. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Because for me, this motorhome is almost perfection. We'll see if we can find a dislike or two. And then check this out. For your leveling. Yep. Okay. Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, let's go take a look. By the way, I didn't emphasize that. The outside does look great, but it really is the inside. Not only that, Andrea, the cargo carrying capacity, 2,702 pounds. Wow. That's a lot. Sure is. All right, everybody. Okay, so even with the slide in, look at this. Really good walkway, plenty of space. You can definitely open the fridge. Um, back here, you can still get to the half bath. And then walking through is the master bedroom. It looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. And while we get the slide outs out. Andrea, no, no, no. Oh? Come here. Okay. This is my favorite motorhome. So we're gonna show everybody what it looks like when the slide outs are coming out. Okay. Okay. Well, emergency brake needs to be on, but the engine needs to be off. And every motorhome is different. <laughs> They're always different. Yeah. yeah. But look, I want people to see what it looks like. And something that I do love, Andrea, is the tangible buttons. You know what I'm saying? Yes, where you don't have to push the pad. Yeah. I love that. And Andrea, there's a reason why we didn't kick over to the sponsor of this episode. And I'll tell you that a little bit later in this video. But you know, I didn't want to sour today's video with that. Look at how much space we got going on in here. Beautiful, fantastic. We're gonna show everybody the living area in about 45 seconds. But first, I do want to show everybody the cockpit area. All right, 7.3 liter V8, fantastic. I got my auto leveling right here. Here's our sun visors and everything. Tire pressure monitoring system there. Right over here, we got our lights control. Ford 7.3, very nice. And then this is my point of view while I'm driving down the road. We do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and cup holders here. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? Feels great. It's Talk really, to me. It's really comfortable. I love the two tones. Um, I got a workstation right here, which is nice. Yes, nice very solid, dirty. yes. And yeah, both these seats do swivel. We've got some storage above here, right here. Okay, so it opens up just fine. Let me see if I get this one. Brand new, oh, it's a little bit harder. A little stiff, yeah. a little stiff. Not only that, we got MCD blinds throughout this whole area. And we do have a over the cab. That holds 500 pounds. I'll show everybody. It's a manual one. Bam, just like that. Okay, and it has the cargo netting here. Which Not only that, God forbid if this breaks, you're still able to drive to where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that is so important. And it's not gonna break on you like what you would think because it's not the electric style, okay? Over here, we got storage right here. And then Andrea, I actually want you to show the kitchen first. Okay, I love it already, it's beautiful. So we have, um, cabinet up here. We have a solid surface countertop. This is probably my favorite countertop. Mm. 
And then here we have this uh, extension of the counter space. We have a farmhouse sink here. Farmhouse sink with the extension. And let's see, we've got some drawers over here. Let's see. One, soft close, two, three, and storage underneath the sink. Very good. You've got another cabinet. And yeah, just really pretty. I mean, got plenty of space, got a tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power. Love the backsplash around this panoramic window. Right? It looks like a hand tiled laid it's, backsplash at it's that. Beautiful. So we got three more drawers. One more. And then over here we have a convection microwave with storage above it. Yes. Three burner magic chef propane cooktop. Yes. Okay. And then um, what's this? A drawer. Wow. And then we get the compressor. This is new. I've never seen this before. Higher. 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 I don't know. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Good size. Don't see a pantry, but that's that's okay. I guess. It is a okay, Andre. <laughs> There's kind of a pantry somewhere. I'll show you that in just a moment. First, back on up. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. I love the lights, too. Love the lights. Love this. And I always have a hard time trying to locate where that is. But we will find it throughout the video. I'm telling you now, we will find it. But I love this. Coming on over here to the dinette area. Look at this, Andrea. Art Deco. Uh, sure. No, yeah. it's not. <laughs> it's not. Guys, make sure you join our Facebook group, Club Art Deco. Since I mentioned Art Deco, we are actually giving away, um, not giving away, uh, we're, we're hosting a rally in October. And the only people who are going to know about it first is going to be Club Art Deco. And it's probably going to sell out. So if you want to join the best Facebook community out there, join Club Art Deco. New windows means new shades. Here's the deal, Andrea. These aren't going to rack it around as much as those MCD shades. You got your daytime blinds and privacy blinds. I love that. Nice light fixture. Very nice dinette. Look, it's a black table, black furniture. I like that. Very nice. It kind of contrasts as well. Yeah, it just, just makes it just has a modern take on it. Got um, good storage underneath the dinette right there. Yes, ma'am. Very, very nice. And then over here, Andrea, we do have nice storage above. How you doing? Look at that. So nice. All right. And then right over here, Andre, we have a very nice sofa, okay? I believe you get options with theater seats, okay? But this sofa, I mean, look at the it's little It's a good work. size. Oh, you mean floor. the legs? Yeah, yeah, the legs are cute for yes. it. Not only that, Andre, this comes out and makes a bed. And you want to know what? I don't want to show people. It's a good size sofa, though. But you know what? I am going to show people. You Must, know why? Is it a trifold? You know why I'm going to show people? It's my favorite unit, that's why. Oh yeah, it's a trifold. Okay. That just makes it a lot easier. You just put that back down. And looking right here, you know, you don't have any walk around space, but this is for your guests. And it looks like it opens up to like a king size bed, doesn't it? Really, really big on great. And you have this extra cushion for the back, back there. And obviously it levels out once you're uh, once you adjust the legs and everything. Not bad at all. I want to go. go. You know why I show everybody? Because I'm dedicated. And we got the air conditioning on, which helps. I think that one goes to the dinette, that little pad oh, there. Oh. Yeah. It does. Or no, no, I bet, yeah, probably. Oh, and these cushions go behind there. Andre, you know it, you know it. Across from the sofa, directly across, at a prime viewing angle, is this awesome seat. It's a little bit of storage. Very nice insignia TV. Looks like about a 40 incher, okay? In a fireplace with a low mantle, that fireplace does produce heat from electricity. Let me show everybody this half bath. They took away that stupid door. Remember that door? Yeah. Zach Eppers? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I do see the one, they took away the wallpaper that I was saying looked like the Pittsburgh Steelers a little bit. Nice looking, nice storage there. Very good sink. 
Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Really pretty colors in here. I like their blue that they have. Porcelain. Andrea, this. is not a prime pooping position. Womp womp. Here's the only thing that killed him. I almost could have passed this. I really could have. If this wasn't, guys, let me tell you something. When I say my favorite motorhome, this is my favorite Class A gas motorhome. That's why I'm failing this. If it wasn't my favorite, honestly, I would have passed it. But I'm trying to, trying to find some improvements here. You know what I'm saying? These drawers are unnecessary. They could have made this a little smaller, which would have given me perfect uh, foot space. I think but so even too. still, Andre, I mean, it's only my tippy of the toes that's failing. And there is a cabinet there. And the fan right there. Andre, I'm telling you, this motorhome is the cat's meow. Meow. <laughs> well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now. Oh, oh sorry. My. I know. I'm t it's the heat. I blame it on the heat. It's the cat's meow. <laughs> Meow. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the MSRP. MSRP. And how are you saying it's the heat? We got it plugged in with the air conditioning. It doesn't matter. You get to that age like me and you just get hot flashes. Oh, Andrea. MSRP on this motorhome here, where'd it go? Oh, Up there, right it, there is. it is. MSRP is $256,116. MSRP sale price I am putting the sale price right there for everybody who see who's watching on television and Andrea that is a phenomenal price but as great as a price as that is Andrea I know I can get everybody an even better sale price than that on such an awesome unit and if you guys are interested in getting an even better sale price than that please go to generalrv.com slash matscash I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Let them know that you're interested in the Encore 375RB. Let them know that you're interested in Matt's 2024 pick for the best Class A gas motorhome out of all Class A gas motorhomes. And they will get you one thing and one thing only. And that is the best price in America. Now, Andrea, a lot of people have signed off this video. And they really shouldn't have. You know why? Because they're all like, oh, there's bunk beds. I don't want it. For everybody who signed off, I apologize to you. Because you're about to miss out on something great. This is greatness here, Andrea. Okay. And it does look like, if you don't know what's in there, it definitely looks like a closet. Okay. Right now is bunk beds, okay? And yes, bunk beds. Oh no, I don't want bunk beds. But hang on a second. You flip this up out of the way. Now it's wardrobe space. Okay? You can flip this up out of the way. And now it's still wardrobe space. Or there's a chair under the bed here, Andrea. You put the chair in here. You flip this up out of the way as well. Bam. Office. Power. USB. This perfectly fits a chair and you perfectly have an office in here this is not a bunk bed do not comment that this is a bunkhouse motorhome it's not this is the bow motorhome b-o-w or the hoop <laughs> there's no h never mind bow motorhome b-o-w or the wob bunk bed office wardrobe right here or the wob wardrobe office bunk bed Drop a comment down below. Should it be bow or wob? I think bow sounds better. And that's what we've always said about it, bow. Yep, I do too. But wob, it's almost like wop. You know what I'm saying? But I prefer wob, if you ask me. And then over here, Andrea, directly across. Oh, by the way, there's also a door here. Yes, and look at that. I mean, you don't even know. You wouldn't know that it had a bow. That, we're calling it bow. Andrea meant something about the pantry. Here's your pantry right here, Andrea. But this pantry also doubles as prep for a stackable washer and dryer. Or if you did have kids that comes with you, it could be their storage. This is multi-space, this is multi-space. 
Storage pantry washer or washer dryer. Storage pantry swap. <laughs> Storage pantry and washer dryer. S P A W. And then there's a drawer. Or spa. Spa. Okay. I don't know if I like that. Don't tell me what you like and don't like. Andrea, it's not about your likes and don't likes. Actually, technically it is. It's about what it does. I love it. And then right here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good entryway going into the master bedroom. You got a pocket door. A huge pocket door. And then coming in, we have a nice king size bed. Got the cute headboard. How do you say it like that? Uh, How do you say it? Andrea? Yes. This has a king size bed. Not only that, show me right here, opposing slide outs in the Matt, area. you already done sold me on this motorhome. <laughs> it doesn't. Sold me. Listen, we got a nice headboard, nice windows, storage above, and there's a coach path system in there. You know what I'm saying? Which is uh, a seat app with power and a hole for a seat app machine. Let's see if we got storage under here. We will. Oh man, oh wow, that's that's a lot. I actually don't know where the fold-up chair is then. It's probably on the outside. Over here, we do have the Insignia TV. Little countertop area, charging centers. Love all the outlets. You can never have enough outlets. Nice storage here. I'm on a go, 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 Got go, go, let's go. Is it, hmm, maybe it's in there the somewhere. somewhere. Sky, yeah. Two big drawers right there. A thousand degrees, that's why they call me Mr. Encore 375 RB. I'm channeling okay. at the speed of 55 miles an hour. Okay, so we got a pocket door going into the master bathroom right there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. 24 by 36 shower. It kind of is a big step up. Good height in there. Let me stand in here for America. I love this. Good size. Yeah. Good size. Okay. Nice little sink area. Show what we got there. So you got a nice sink here. Got some drawers. Storage underneath. Three drawers. Soft clothes. And Andrea, this episode is sponsored by us. And we're liquefied. Our brand of RV toilet tank treatments. Toilet bowl cleaner and sensor cleaner. You can also get it in liquid form, easy to drop in pods, or powdered formula. And you can get this on Amazon. Or you can get it on our new website, primepoopingposition.com. And it's phenomenal. Not only that, Andrea, if you want to get your first bottle free, I have a special link down below. Go to liquefiedrv.com backslash free bottle. We're going to be giving away 10,000 bottles. Oh my goodness. We haven't actually started the promotion yet, but since this is my favorite motorhome, I wanted to make an announcement on that. So click that link down below. All you got to do is answer four questions and pay $5.99 for shipping. That's how we're giving away 10,000 free bottles. Unfortunately, we can't do free shipping as well because that would be extremely expensive. But thank oh, you to hi. everybody. And everybody who's watching now, if you're a supporter of the show, buy from our website now. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Don't buy from Amazon no more. Amazon's great, but what we what we plan on doing is cutting the middleman out. No, not right? cutting the middleman out, but when enough people start buying through our website, we'll be able to lower our prices. Yes. And that's huge. That's awesome. Dang, see, now I feel bad for not giving that a prime poop position over there. Andrea, this is also not a prime poop position. Oh, no. Womp, womp, womp. But this one also doesn't fail. I'm touching right here. Take this out and you're good. But leave it in because, like, the touching, it's just it's just a rub. But but those are the bylaws. Pass is pass and fail is fail. Right. But again, it's it's these aren't real fails. It just is what it is. I don't know how to explain it, y'all. I don't know how to explain it. You guys are gonna say, how is this your favorite motorhome if it doesn't have prime poop positions? I don't know. It doesn't make sense, but it does. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before everybody leaves, we're gonna give you three things that we love about this motorhome, three things that we don't like about it. Andrea, may I go first on sure. dislikes? We're gonna do dislikes first. Okay. Dislike first is that there's two non-prime poop that's a dislike. And the reason why is because they're just doing a little extra. 
they didn't have to add this here in this bathroom. And then the half bathroom, they could have taken away this. Believe it or not, this is like the first motorhome. I'm fine that there's not two prime poop positions because they're both doable for poopables and you get the extra storage space. That is dislike number one. Uh-oh. Andrea, what's uh -oh. dislike number two? Oh my goodness. So I'm looking and I'm looking and I I ha I I gotta say it, I don't like the floor vents. I'm oh, sorry. we didn't even it's call right that out. There. Is there another one out there? There. Just here? But yeah, I'm just not a fan of those because I, I have pets. You know what? It is only one, Andrea. So I, I hate to penalize them for that, honestly. But we can combo that with... Uh, uh, no pantry. Kind of a pantry, but yes. I think most people are going to do the washer dryer. We'll combo it with that. Okay, that's just like number two. And again, guys, the reason why we're making that or dislike, like honestly, I would have edited that part out. But... Uh, but it's like, well, if that's not our dislike, then, then what, what is, is our dislike? Right. So that's number two. And then, Andrea, number three for me is going to be this. Oh, here it is. Oh, you found it? Yeah. <laughs> There's this. We found the shade so number three opener. Is that they, don't, they don't label the shade. Look at that, Andrea. Go look underneath there. Oh, so pretty. You could have watched the solar eclipse from I, I know. You couldn't have, but it's funny to say. We could have been right here yep stargazing stargazing but let me see the switch real quick uh the switch was right here yeah and it's see it's not labeled so you don't know but this like number three is this fold up countertop this sucks it doesn't look good and it's not level like what's that right nah. i mean i it, think they did good they have counter space here so i don't think they really needed that I, and i think it looks tacky yeah they didn't need it that's three things we don't like about this motorhome, Andrea. Now it's time for three things we love about it, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. The bunk bed, office wardrobe, the wob, the bow, whatever you call it, that's what it is, and I love it. Bunk bed, office wardrobe. That is love number one. Andrea, what's love number two? Can I say it? Talk to me. I love the skylight. Yes. It's so pretty. You don't, you don't see that a lot. And fact, I don't really see it often at all and we'll combo it with the awesome led light strips here fantastic awesome in america that makes it so bright in here that's number two and then andre number three i'm going to do a bunch of things the sturdy work top table there 22.5 inch tires full body paint slam latch doors and the beautiful windows sofa across from the tv beautiful windows king size bed nice size shower Again, this isn't the, the, the tile, the hand laid tile. There's so many things I love about this motorhome. And here's all I ask of America. If you love, the, you don't need to buy this motorhome, America. This is my opinion of the best motorhome. But again, for 2024, sometimes they get too much. Sometimes they, they cheapen up. Sometimes there's better competitors that come out. But I love this motorhome. And if you love this motorhome as well, Please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. Or send me an email, matt at mattsrvreviews.com. I'll hook you up with somebody from my team. Guys, please reach out to me. I want, it to, I want to drive down Route 75, see a Encore 375 RV and wave to them and let people know that this was my favorite motorhome. You know what I'm saying? I, I just absolutely love that. Reach out to our team. Also. Check out Liquefied on our website, on our new website, liquefiedrv.com. Andrea, what say you? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Coachman does read the comments. They do watch the videos, you guys. So please leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.